excited for a new lesson for today. But before that, let us have our prayer to be led to us by Jesse. Amen. So, good morning once again. So, I am your teacher for Math 8, Elementary Statistics and Probability. So, as we recall the lesson that we had last week, it is all about the discrete random variable. And for today, I will be having or we will be having a new topic to be discussed. But before that, I want you to read our objectives class. First one. The second. And the last. Okay, thank you for your participation. So our topic for this morning is all about the normal probability distribution. So normal probability distribution. Is it familiar for you? Okay, that's nice. Normal curve is bell-shaped. As you can see here, it has a bell shape. Where the curve is symmetrical about its center. Symmetrical which means that the right side is equal to the left side or they are mirror from each other next one is the area under the curve is one for as we all know that for a pro for a probability to be considered it must have a total area of one next is the the mean median mode coincide at the center so this three must be found or must coincide at the center it must be seen at this part and next is the tails are asymptotic along the horizontal axis which means that as these tails extend from positive infinity to negative infinity it will always up closely approach to the horizontal axis but it will never really touch the axis that means the tails are asymptotic to our horizontal axis so these are the prob properties of the normal probability distribution. And I have also here the empirical rule. What is the empirical rule? This is the rule in statistics based on practical observations and experiences. So this states is or this empirical rule is usually known as the 6895-99.7 rule. This states that one standard deviation away from the mean, from left to right, the results that can be found is 68%. Next one is negative 2 standard deviation and positive 2 standard deviation away from the mean, which means we can find the 95% of the results and three standard deviation away from the mean we can found the 99.7 percent so why is it that this is not a hundred percent total because here at the little part as the tails extend there are still values that we can found here along this as the tails go along the horizontal axis so the empirical rule states that when we are here at this part we can find the 68 percent of the results or the probability while second deviation is 95 percent and the third deviation we can find the 99.7 percent or almost all of the results but not totally all of them because there are still values that we can find in a positive infinity and in a negative infinity of the horizontal axis. So, the normal probability distribution, it has a standardized normal distribution. So, here is the formula for the standardized normal distribution. Z is equal to x minus mu or the mean over the standard deviation, where Z is the standard score x is the observed value, mu is the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. Are you familiar with it? Because we have already, because I guess you have already discussed it in your senior high school years. 
So we have here a normal curve as you can see. So I will give now an example that we can apply the normal probability distribution or the standardized normal distribution. So here is the problem. So scores on English tests are normally distributed with a mean of 65 and a standard deviation of 7. So our first problem is, what is the probability that the students will score above 60? Knowing that our mean or the average is 65 and our standard of deviation is 7, and we need to transform it or convert it into a standardized form, so it will take the unit of 0 in the mean and standard deviation of 1. So we will now be going to solve. Z is equal to X over minus mu over sigma. So Z is equal to our value of X is, or the observed value is 60. So 60 minus 65, which is our mu, and the standard deviation, which is 7. So plug in into your calculators, then you will get the answer of Z is equal to negative 0 0.71. So this is now our z score so to to find the area of our z value you need to use your z table so class i have provided you the z table right before the class started so look at your papers and locate the value of this so after that you will get the answer of 0 0.2611 so let us assume that the negative 0 0.71 is located here. So, we have solved that the area at this portion, that the area from here up to the mean is 0 0.2611. 0 0.2611. Then, since it says that above 60, so our unknown values or the unknown probability is from here to here, the right to the right portion of our normal curve. So, knowing in our empirical rule that the area under the curve is 1 and this is 0 0.50, and the other side is 0 0.50. So, we can add 0 0.5 plus, plus 0 0.2611, which equates to 0 0.7611. So, the probability that the students will score above 60 is 0 0.7611. So, here is our probability the probability that Z is greater than negative 0 0.71 is equal to 0 0.7611. So that is class. That is our first example. So our second example is... Thank you. So let us now solve our second example. In the situation, it is given that we have two axes, the 61 and 82. So we have to convert this to a standard score using our standardized normal distribution formula. Z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So our first value is 61 minus 65 divided by 7. So we have calculated negative 0 0.57. On the other, on the other hand, eighty two minus sixty five divided by seven is equal to two point forty three. So find the the 
z-score, that is z-value, in your papers, and you will get the scores of 0 0.2157 for, 60, for negative 0 0.57 and 0 0.4925 for 2.43. Am I right? Okay. So we have now to locate this. Our negative 0 0.57, we, we assume that it is located here. And 2.43 is here. So we are now looking for the portion between negative 0 0.57 and 2.43. So we have now calculated the two areas. Since our probability is Z is greater than negative 0 0.57 and less than 2.43, is equal to 0.2557 plus 0.4925 because we have calculated two areas and we are given two axis values or two observed values. Since the area between negative 0 0.57 to our mean is 0 0.2157 and the area from 2.2557 43 to our mean is 0 0.4925 so we need to add these two answers so we have now our 0 0.7082 so this is now our final answer this means that the probability that students will have scores between 61 and 82 is 0 0.7082 or 70.82%. So that is our probability that the students will get those particular scores. For your short seat work or activity, please answer this in your notebook. Our third problem. What percent of the scores that students got below 55? So, write it in your notebook. I'll give you three minutes to answer this question. Include a or graph the normal curve. Include the standardized normal distribution formula. And plot it on our normal curve. So, are you done, class? So, Rafi, please collect all the papers of your classmates. Thank you. So that is our discussion for this morning. I hope that you've learned something from our discussion. And for your assignment, since today is Friday, you have an ample time to do your assignment. Your assignment is to have rest and enjoy your time with your family. So, God bless and have a long and nice weekend. Thank you.